Welcome to this video. This video explains how to model truss structures and how to use truss elements. Consider this truss structure which is two dimensional with these dimensions. We start to model this in two dimensional space using truss elements. At first, we create a part. We should choose an appropriate name for it. For example, truss. The dimension that we use to model this problem is two dimensional. And the part is deformable. All of the members are deformable and there is no rigid part here. And feature that we will draw the part is wire. We should enter a number here to define the size of our sketch sheet and considering the size of the truss, 10 meter is a good number. We draw the truss in meters and we draw this shape by create line. At first we draw the shape. and then apply dimensions to this shape. Every member has one meter length. We should continue adding dimension to the structure until the structure is fully constrained. If we add dimensions more than required, the structure will be over constrained and the color of all the dimensions show this. We can delete the extra dimensions and continue modeling the problem. Now we construct the structure in part module and we can go to the property module and create material. The material is steel and the problem is linear elastic. We define from mechanical elasticity, elastic constant. The material is isotropic and linear elastic. We enter the Young modulus in Pascal because the dimension is in meters. Then we create a section. In section, rather than the material, we define section properties like cross-section area of the truss. The section is truss and the name can be truss. And then we enter the cross-sectional and material. We choose the material and then enter cross-sectional area which is 0 0.00196 and this is our section. We can assign section to the elements. Since all of the bars are the same, we assign the section to all of them together. We also could assign different section to different parts in this module. In the next module, which is assembly, we enter our part as an instance. By creating instance, we enter the truss and we choose independent. Also, we could choose dependent and this two option means that change from now is dependent to the part or not. In other words, imagine that we have two similar parts in the assembly. If we want to have changes in one of them, the independent is more appropriate. But if both of them will be changed in the same manner, independent will be more appropriate. 
In a step module, we create a step. The simplest possible step is linear perturbation, which means that a step that only one time stiffness matrix will be inversed and there is no nonlinearity, no change in geometry. Very simple step without setting and nonlinear geometry is off in this step and we can enter a description that's optional for this step we don't need interaction we have only one part and in the next module which is load we define boundary condition for the structure as you can see in the figure the left bottom nodes of the structure is totally fixed we can use pinned or in caster these two options are equal here because rotation has no meaning in the trusses and we also can define a boundary condition for the right side in the right side only the vertical translation is fixed and we can choose Y symmetry here also rotation has no meaning then we apply concentrated force to the structure in the middle of the truss we have a concentrated force downward therefore we enter in the second direction minus 10,000 Newton and then we can go to the mesh in the mesh module at first we should define the size of the elements we choose a size that each bar be one element each bar is one meter and we should enter one meter or a larger number for element size Therefore, each element equals one bar, as you can see in the structure. And then we can set the element type for all of the elements or all of the bars. We choose a standard element and linear, and we can choose beam or truss, which in our case, we prefer the truss elements that has only axial force and truss elements has no complicated setting. Then we can mesh the part. And there is no mesh control here because we have one dimensional elements. After that, we can create a job. We should choose a name for the job and name of file is that the software we construct for us is related to this name. And before submitting the job, we should define a work directory for the software to create files in that directory. You can change this directory and then click OK and then we can submit the job and see the results. As the job is really simple, linear perturbation, there will be only one increment for solving this problem and time has no meaning here only one time inverse of the stiffness matrix happens and we have one increment with one attempt or iteration in this case and we has no time you can see the result here then we can go to the visualization module by clicking results And 
plot the deformation of the structure here the deformation is too much big and if this deformation is real that means that our problem is not linear but maybe this deformation is not real we can check it by going to option common and check the scale factor which is more than one and if we set this to one we can see that the structure geometry has no meaningful change and the assumption that the structure is linear is true now we can see other results other outputs of the problem for example we can plot s11 which is a stress in each bar and we can see the amount of stress here is pressure and red bars has tensile stress thank you guys for watching this video if this video has helped you out please let us know by a like or by a subscribe